The results for the GE main January 2024 session were announced yesterday, February 13th, and 23 students from across India achieved a perfect score of 100. This marks an increase from the previous year where 20 students achieved the same feat in the first session. However, the announcement has stirred controversy with critics accusing the National Testing Agency of alleged mismanagement and suggesting disparities in the results. Today on Straight Up Biodex Live, I am Ritika Banerjee and we take a look at the result and also address a couple of emerging concerns. Firstly, in notable and exciting news from Telangana, 7 out of 23 perfect scorers hail from the state. Additionally, three students each are from Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan and Maharashtra with two from Delhi and Haryana each and one each from Tamil Nadu, Gujarat and Karnataka. However, it's worth noting that all top scorers are male as no female students appear on the toppers list. Dvija Dharmesh Kumar Patel from Gujarat secured the highest score among female candidates with a remarkable 99.99%. Turning to the controversies, career consultant and analyst from Tamil Nadu, Mr. Jay Prakash Gandhi, today, February 14, took to X to raise concerns related to the exam results. He writes, and I quote, JE May 2024 exam marks versus percentile totally exposes NTA's mismanagement. Maybe a big scam too. Students who appear for Jan 27th and 28th sessions are the biggest loser. How can NTA allocate 3 lakh students in the 27th morning session on the JE exam? Unquote. This tweet has garnered significant attention with numerous retweets and approximately 4,000 views so far. So we reached out to Jay Prakash Gandhi to gain further insight into the matter. Firstly, what led to the disparity between marks and percentile in this year's JEE? The students who wrote in the first four session, their average mark 218.5, they got the score of 99 percentile. But the student, the same who wrote the JE main the last six session, average mark only 175 got 99 percentile, a difference of 43 marks. For example, a student who got 256 marks got 99.7 percentile who wrote in the first four session. But the student who wrote in the last six session, who got just 218 marks, got 99.7 percent, almost 38. In fact, in the results also should not have been announced during the board exams are going conducted. When the board exams are conducted, these type of discrepancy results really affect the student's performance, even the board examination. They should have announced the results at the end of the board exams, before the results, uh, the plus two results. How does the NTA play a role in this? When we analyze the marks versus percentile, it really exposes the mismanagement of national testing agency may be a scam also. In fact, we are as an educationist, we are asking national testing agency, why did you allow 3 lakh students on the 27th morning session? If 12 lakh students have written the examination, each session should have the average 1.2 lakhs. Why the first few sessions had more number of students and the last six sessions had less number of people? This is a big question mark. Is it a scam? Is it so voluntarily they've done? They need to be exposed. We need a transparency. You mentioned one nation, one exam for JE in your tweet. Could you elaborate on that? Why should we have so many sessions uh, to, uh, for JE exam? When NEET examination is conducted only once in the year, why not we conduct JE exam also only once? When we say one nation, one election, why not we say one nation, one JE main exam? This is what we don't need so many sessions. In fact, a lot of students are losing hopes, especially the students who wrote in the first four sessions. So make sure next time we don't make this mistake. Make sure we should be for the students and by the students. And this is what we request as an educationist. And that concludes straight up for today. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to mask up.